Hey YouTube, Vermont Prepper here. What I'm going to do today is show you how to properly delete any file, whether it's internal to your Garmin device or on a memory card, using Basecamp and doing it the proper way and making it very easy for you. So stay tuned, don't touch that dial, and enjoy. Welcome to my world. We're going to talk mainly about military vehicles, solar power, and self-sufficiency. But I also like to live life to its fullest potential. I do this through music. Specifically, I'm a drummer. Music runs through my veins, and I'm also going to discuss the various equipment I use and throw in a few covers. Hope you enjoy. Welcome to the channel. What you see here is my Garmin Montana 700i and I have it hooked up to my PC computer and I use a PC computer because I found that it has a little bit more capability with Basecamp than an Apple MacBook which I also have. Uh, I have Basecamp open of course you have to install this if you don't have it. I have Garmin Express uh, connected to my Montana 700i. You see it's connected, it's up to date and I have also the file Explorer open as well. So basically when you open up your Explorer you see your device right here. You're going to navigate to the Garmin folder and you're going to double click on it and you're going to see a bunch of folders within that and these ones right here that either end in GMA or IMG are your device maps on the internal part of your uh, Garmin. Now I have a USB drive K which is also installed in my Garmin. It's the memory card and this is the folder for the memory card. So if you if you navigate down you click on Garmin you see all of these ones right here that starts with D15 and they're either GMA or UNL extension that's my uh, purchased maps. Okay, so, and I'll show you how I know that. So basically, you see right here on the internal storage of the Garmin Montana 700i, you see I have public land map, Topo Active America Central and North installed. And then on the memory card, I have all of the 24k maps installed right there northeast north central etc now say that you want to delete one of the maps on your internal you would just navigate up here to your garmin folder right here on the internal part of the 700i you scroll down and you say well how the heck do i know which one is uh, topo active central. I don't need Central America topo active Americas, right? What you would do is you click on it on Basecamp and you see right here is the file name right here. So this one is d7753030a.img. So that is right here. So if I delete this file, you just right click and you delete it. I'm not going to do that. But if you right click and delete it, that's going to get rid of your central Topo Actives Americas uh, map. All right. And you might ask, uh, what's this GMA? Now, I spent about two hours on the phone with a Garmin tech going through all of this. And the guy was really cool. Garmin's got great customer service. This GMA file... Uh, you don't even need to worry about them. He, it's, it's called a, it's an authentication file, so you don't even need to delete those. This, this is like I guess if you, if you purchase a map, this authenticates the map for this device. So you don't even need to delete these. You just keep them in there because if you ever, ever want to reinstall the map, you'll have authenticated map. Um, so basically, this would be your map there, and then. Let's say you want to go down to your memory card, right? You, and you say, well, I don't really need the Topo North Central anymore. There's the file name for that, d153010b.img. And again, IMG stands for image. Those are the ones that you want to delete. 
you would navigate down to here where it's the external USB drive K on my PC. It might be something different on yours, but you'll see a Garmin folder. And then you see it ends in 010. And it looks like it is one of these here. 530010B. Yeah, this is it right here. All right, so you can just delete that file. You really don't need, if you don't need it, you just delete it and uh, you move forward. And then when you go back up and you can, you know, close out Basecamp, reopen it, you'll, you won't see this file there anymore. So basically that's it in a nutshell on how to do this. Um, also what you can do, one other thing I want to mention is that when you purchase a map through Garmin, the uh, tech guy told me that you have up to a year to download it. So after a year, you can't re reinstall this, uh, these maps that you purchase. So what you may want to do is copy these maps to another external driver onto your PC, just so that you have them in case you, in case you lose them or, or you delete them f for whatever reason. But that's it. Basically, uh, it's super easy. I haven't seen any other video that does it this simple. Uh, there's a lot of convoluted ways to, to do it, but I haven't seen any other video make it this easy as far as uh, uninstalling. And I have to give tech, uh, you know, credit to the Garmin tech people because they're the ones who taught me. But I uh, hope you guys learned something out of this. And uh, as always, keep prepping. Vermont Prepper out. Take care, everybody. Throw a few likes in there, will you? Take care.